It's what social media needs. It's just what YouTube needs. Presenting JJ Reddick and LeBron James with a podcast, a weekly podcast. The podcast named Le Podcaster. <laughs> Le Podcaster. <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes you can't write this stuff up. But yeah, when I heard about this, I'm like, oh, great. More, more agenda, more propaganda from LeBron James himself. And he got his co-signer, J.J. Reddick, just to help him boost this propaganda. If it can't get any worse by now for us on YouTube. We have to fight back against these small YouTubers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's fight back. Yeah. They will not win this war. I am the greatest. I'm the greatest that ever touched the basketball. But anyways, um, reading this article off. What am I reading this article off? It's SB Nation, to get the facts straight. LeBron James is becoming a podcaster. On Monday, Andrew McClan of The Athletic reported that LeBron James, alongside J.J. Rugby, been launching the NBA and basketball podcast title. Mind the game. So it's not the podcaster. <laughs> that would have been funny. Um, so his name, Mind the Game. Both Reddick and LeBron confirmed the report in the athletic piece with statements from each. It meant to be a very free-flowing conversation about the sport, about the game, Reddick said in a phone interview. If you look at it in a very simplistic way, it's just about basketball. I'm really proud of what we've done to innovate in sports media. I'm sure you are. James sent a statement to The Athletic. When I do a project, the only thing I think about is whether me and my friends will watch it. A slight pause, because I know what that means. It's what I want you to hear. That's what that means. But anyways. <sighs> this is definitely the case with the mind, the gang. Everything... Doesn't need to be designed for internet culture and clicks. That's a shot at everyone else. The first episode is set to come out on Tuesday, so this has been in the works for some time. The article also details some of the specifics about the podcast with all buzzwords like innovate and nut die delve thrown in. <laughs> I don't know, that's a diss towards them. You know how people like to use innovate and all these fancy words to make themselves sound smarter. What is also guaranteed is that there will be plenty of wine included. As Marchand reported, Reddick and LeBron connected in December by a podcast and built towards this launch. They also have taped two episodes of the show. See, this fool they ain't focused on the season. He focused on podcasting. You know, that's the only thing I'm getting tired of. People in their podcast. Why everybody need a podcast? This person has a podcast. This person has a podcast. That person does. He does. That dog does. That cat has a podcast. Even that car over there. That squirrel has a podcast. Come talk to Buddy Squirrel about nuts and acorns. Everybody has a podcast. And every time you hear a new podcast, they talk about something stupid. It don't mean anything. They ain't talking about nothing. I think it was a podcast between two women. I forgot what they was, what the name of the podcast was, but they was talking about um, how men, uh, just stupid stuff. I don't even want to get into it. So I didn't think I had the facts all straight, but it was the most stupidest thing I ever heard in my life. But everybody has a podcast these days. But anyway, so. For going a tyrant. I just had to say something. But why is this thing going crazy? All right. For now, the podcast does not have a main sponsor, but has to imagine it's hard to imagine that won't be the case for long. What is even better imagine which live read with the funniest for LeBron? Wait, what does that mean? Imagining which live read would be the funniest for LeBron to have to have to do because there are some funny possibilities. Mind the game brought to you by Manscaped. Anyways, would be an incredible live feed, but it would be would just be LeBron chasing Alex Russo greatness once again. What about the funniest? All right, that's enough. All right, so yeah, like I said, they got a podcast out. 
I'm sure it's going to spew lots of propaganda. Uh, maybe it might spout some um, facts. But knowing JJ, Re JJ Redding, how he is, and knowing how we all know how LeBron is, um, we just know in the back of our head, this is going to be a bunch of freaking propaganda, narcissism, and other stuff. And you might hear some insight. Maybe they might not talk about basketball all the time. They might talk about some stuff off the court. But we already know 99% of it's going to be about basketball. So anyways, I think this was something that was in the wind coming for a long time. Because I know LeBron, because uh, I know everybody has their shows when they interview basketball players. Like you have freaking fake, uh, you have CB4 and uh, Becky with the good hair with their stuff on Showtime. Interviewing all these different players and uh, media personalities and celebrities. You, got, you know, you got Shannon with his, uh, which is doing well. You got KG and Paul uh, Pierce with theirs and PG with theirs. And now uh, JJ Ray has the one he already has when he's speaking to everyone. And I think for the longest time, LeBron didn't win. A, I think LeBron had his shop, but he never was a... Future, I guess, was Steven Jackson and Matt Barnes. I guess they wanted him on there, but I think they made jokes about him never coming on there a couple of years ago. Uh, so I think this is a little bit what this is right here. And I also think that we all know LeBron, this may, I think he knows this may be the end. But you know what? He's not going to address, the, I bet he won't address those damn freaking uh, PED allegations. Sweep him right under the rug. Why would we expect him to do it? But anyways, that's all.